Minus the hat though, because I don't have one. But you can certainly go make one or go get one. And obviously you can wear a orange wig if you wanted to. So if you want to see how I achieved this uh, Mad Hatter inspired makeup tutorial for a party or Halloween or whatever you want to go, and you want to go as Mad Hatter, and you want to see how I do this, then keep watching. Okay, so for my base, I used the Veil Fluid Makeup uh, by Hourglass Foundation. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. This Hourglass shade, I'm in um, Ivory. I did a little bit of contouring um, just with the uh, NYX uh, blush in Taupe. I'm going to use the Shanaxo palette and I'm going to take uh, this colour here on my eyelid, so it's like a shim shimmery champagne colour. Just using my finger, slap that on. And then as my transition colour, I'm going to take this colour here, like the orangey type colour. Now I'm going to take the Take Me To Brazil um, BH Cosmetics palette. I've been obsessed with this because it's so pigmented and the colours in here are so bright and colourful. Just love it. You can create so many different looks. I'm going to start with the right eye first. And it looks like he's got blue on his eye so I'm going to go in with this blue here. It's like a teal colour. And start putting that somewhat on my eyelid but through the crease. Look how pigmented that is. Taking a XO Beauty tapered crease brush. I feel like you don't have to be too precise just because it is a Mad Hatter look and you know Mad Hatter's makeup that he's wearing is not exactly perfect. <laughs> Because it's mad, so and I'm gonna deepen that up a bit by taking in the color underneath to so the darker blue. These are all like mattes, by the way. Just put that more like defined in the crease. I'm using a smaller, small blender brush by Exa Beauty. Going back in with that other blue again, and just sort of taking it quite far up because he has it quite far up to his eyebrows. I'm gonna go to the other side now, where it looks like he has like a purpley color on. It looks like purple, but it's really hard to tell in the pictures. So I'm going to go with this, like, colour purple here. So you can see I'm dragging it out to the sides just a bit. Now I'm going to go in and deepen that up a bit by taking that small blender brush again and going in with this darker purple here and putting that like just in the crease area <laughs> so weird two different colors uh, and just taking that other brush with some more of the other purple and blend out some more Kind of 
looks like he's got like an orange eyeliner on his waterline. I don't actually have one, so I'm gonna go in pink instead and then try and like put, blend it out with orange to make it look more orange. <laughs> like that. And then on my upper waterline, I'm gonna take this blue color. With a more defined brush, I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow angled brush by XO Beauty and go in with this orange color here. Pack that right up close to my lower lash line and near my inner corner. So it looks like it's got orange around there as well. So I'm just going to take that other blender brush, try and wipe off the excess and go into this other orangey colour here. Mix those together and start blending that out. I'm connecting it under there. Okay, and now for on my right eye further down here, because it's got eyeshadow that pretty much comes down like that. <laughs> wearing your bags would be, which is a good way to cover up your bags. I'm going to go in with this red here, taking the tapered blender brush, taking that red, bringing that down like more circular. It's very rounded, so just follow like where your natural eye socket sort of rounds here. I'm going to take this other BH Cosmetic Modern Mats and take this other red here and mix that in as well. So it's more intense closer to the eyelash line and then just like fades out. Okay, and then on the other eye, I'm going in, it's got pink on under the left eye. So I'm going in with this pink colour there. Pink colour. And doing the same thing. Going very rounded. Just go back in and touch up, and blend and touch up if we need to with the colours. And to define my eyebrows and make them all bushy, yeah. <laughs> just going in first with this, the colour show pink. Just to sort of get a general shape and colour down. And then over top of that before it sets, going in with the orange from the Brazil palette and start sort of extending it up to make them look bushy. Just going in with my L'Oreal Paris Eyebrow Artist Definer, whatever the hell it's called. Really brushing the hairs up so they stick up. And then taking some Anastasia Pomade, Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe, and the brush, her brush. And sort of extending the hairs out. So that just so that they look like you've got a bit more definition, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't look like just so it looks like you've got your hairs coming out. Now, as I don't have any white mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Color Precise Eyeliner by Maybelline, which is a white eyeliner. 
and actually do a wing like I have here and draw in some lashes. And we're just going across, just creating a wing across. Working considering it's not the tips like not hard enough. Because it goes nice real nice like nice hard tip. Anyway, that's the best that I can do. So I'm just gonna check on some mascara and I will be right back. I'm gonna take this defining eyes palette here by Sigma and take this dark white colour here and just put that to like highlight the high points of my face. So like the nose. I'm not going to put any lashes on because he hasn't got big lashes going on so I'm just going to leave it as mascara. And all I need to do now is some pink lip. Okay, I'm going to take this pink lip cream. I think this is what you buy at Topshop. And pop this on. So just after I checked on that lipstick, uh, just curl your hair and then completely tease the shit out of it. And then I've just popped on a black jacket and a white shirt and any sort of scarf and tied it around to make a bow. Um, obviously it would be like heaps better if you had a hat, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna be the Mad Hatter without a hat. I know, I'm crazy. <laughs> so, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. If you enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Bye.